Hello and welcome back to another class of Bandit's Body. Again, this is a little bit more on a beginner level, but don't forget you can tweak any of these exercises by just changing the resistance of the band, making it harder, or pausing the class and adding in more repetitions. So let's get started. I've got my red band on today for my legs green strap I'm going to have here clipped in to my front leg clips and I've got my ankle straps handy for when we come in, into standing a little bit later. Okay so we're going to start off in four point kneeling. Big wide hands here and knees under the hips. If you don't like resting on your wrists don't forget you can just roll the mat up like this and rest in through the heels of the hands there. Just takes that degree of extension out of the wrist there. So we're just gonna take a moment here in four point kneeling to check in through our spinal setup. So maybe a little tiny tuck and tilt of the pelvis, lifting the tail up and down, find a middle point, having a visual of balancing a drink there on the back of the pelvis. And then we're going to just do a little tuck and tilt into the thorax also and finishing once again in a middle position and then with the head little tuck and tilt and finishing in a middle position so remembering we want natural curves running through the spine here nice little cue for your head is to think of just craning away from the floor almost making a double chin we're going to start off with some nice big breaths into the belly exhaling really fill up the side of the ribs and relaxing and we're going to look at some scapular setting so this is about shoulder control so just letting the rib cage drop and then pushing it back up again letting it drop pushing back up now the spine remains nice and long as we do this so it's not a cat and cow, spine remains long and the shoulder blades draw around the rib cage and we catch and push back up again. The rib cage lowers passively and then we push it back up again. Keep connecting down through the pads of your fingers onto the floor here. Good and then come back to centre. We're going to look now at a four point sit back. So travelling backwards into the hips and coming forwards again. Keep the sits bones nice and wide. So think as much space as you can through the back here. And that drink that you've got balanced on your pelvis, gonna remain nice and flat. So we want to watch out here that when we come back, we don't tuck under and spill the drink backwards onto the floor. So I've always got a visual of one of these incredibly overpriced Sydney-based cocktails that we have here. Nice wide hips, sitting back slowly. Good, and then coming into the spine into a cat cow. So let's start from the tail, tucking underneath. Let this movement ripple up through the spine, dropping the head, hold this motion, and then just tilt the head forwards a little bit. And then we're gonna come in reverse. Take the tail all the way up. Coming through in this wave-like motion, and then just drop the chin a little bit and then return. So we're going to be moving from the tail towards the head. If you want to keep your head down, you can. Tail towards the head again. Nice wave like motion coming through the body. And then we're going to come from side to side. So it's as if we're wagging our tail, drawing one side of the pelvis up, drawing the ribs back again. Nice side to side movement. So you can think of this coming from elongating one side, or you might want to think of shortening from one side. It can work from either way. And then we're going to have a nice big, just a big loosey juicy movement. So just mobilize your spine as much as you want to in any direction. You might even come and bring the hips back a little bit. Just making it all really nice and fluid. Beautiful. Calming now and find a stable four-point kneeling. We're going to bring our attention to our legs. 
So firmly press down through your right hand onto the floor and feel the connection track in a diagonal across the body towards the left knee. We're going to then slide the right toe behind us and hold. Feel the connection on the band, draw an imaginary line up behind us, hold, touch back down and return. Swapping onto the other side. So press down through the left hand, feel this arch of connection through to the right knee. Slide the toe, hover it up. We're really working into our glutes here now. Touch back down again and return. Let's alternate. Connect, slide, lift, hover, touch down, return. Connect, slide, up, down, return. Connect, slide, up, down, return. Feel the slide first. Good. One more per side. So really monitoring that this is just the leg moving, rotating through the hip, and that you're not leaning over to one side or rotating as this leg lifts up. Quite a pure movement. Good. Now, let's take our band. So you can hold the band like this with both hands and we're gonna rest on our knuckles. So it's a different kind of weight bearing now coming down through the, the hands. And we're going to come with a forwards press, alternating. So hand comes up, pushes forwards, come back, pushing forwards. Good, so driving out ahead of you. Exhale as you push. And as we come through this set, let's think about lifting our low rib cage upwards. So we want to avoid bowing into the back as you push. Take your mind back to that drink balanced on the pelvis. Shoulder blade connecting back with the rib cage. Keep a nice big gap between the shoulder and the ear. Very nice. Good. Taking your hands out now, back onto the palm. We're going to come back to our legs. We're adding a little variation here. Toes slide, lift, take it out to the side a little bit, come back in and return. Toes slide, up, the leg just draws out to the side and comes back in. Now you want to keep this movement quite small so that we keep the pelvis where it is. So I'm making like an L shape. Slides behind, L shape out, come back in and return. Sliding out, L shape, come back in and return. Great job. One more time, slide, L shape, come back in and return. We're going to come now back with the arms and we're going to combine a thread and this time the push is going to be slightly out towards the side. So we're just going to use one band on the same side as the leg. Threading underneath, come up, push wide V. Exhale, thread. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, push. Coming back. Thread underneath, up, and high V. So if this was again a compass position, I would be pressing my arm northeast. And again, thread, coming up, press northeast. Last time, can't count at all to save my life. I'm going to pretend that was six. And let's swap on to the other side. Threading under, coming up, wide V press. So this would be a northwest maybe, depending on which arm you've decided to work with. Just remember the whole time, supporting arm, Nice and strong, push the floor away from you. Exhale under, coming up, wide push. That's it, lovely, threading under, push. Who knows, how many are we doing? We could just go on for days, really, couldn't we? Pushing on and out, keeping a nice gap between that working shoulder and the ear. And I'm gonna call this one my last one. 
Superb. All right. Now, popping the band out the way, we're going to come and look at a mini plank hold. So big wide hands, push the floor away. Strength through center, and we're going to hover here for five, four, three, two, one, and coming back down. Press the pads of the fingers. Really suction those hands onto the floor. Drive your shoulders away from you and come back. If you'd like to, we could add in some scapular setting in our mini plank. So we come up here, we drop, pushing up, drop, push up. Note again, spine stays long, just the shoulder blades moving and come down to rest. And again, coming up, drop, pushing up, two, beautiful, three, or you might just hold. Oh, well done, guys. Come back, a little bit of disco roll into the wrists, releasing them out. We're gonna change position and come into side lying. Okay, lying on our side here now, hips stacked, heels in line with the bottom. We are gonna picture that we're leaning against the wall and then just roll yourself forward slightly. We're going to be coming into a small range clam. So this is working the side of the hip. Have your heels connecting together at the back, hand on the pelvis, and then we're slowly just gonna roll the bone of the thigh up and then bring it down again. So let's just slowly work through this set here. Watch points for you. Pelvis will stay stable. So I want to avoid rolling back when the leg lifts. We also do not need to crank up to our full height here. We want to be really focusing just on the muscles at the back of the hip, not activating the muscles at the front here. So we have a muscle here, you might even want to put your thumb on it, just in front of that bony bit of the pelvis called TFL. Let's see if we can keep this relaxed. If you feel you're gripping a lot, you might want to just scoot your legs around a little bit. You might be able to find a position where you can really isolate into the back of the hips here. But focus on this bone here. This is your greater trochanter. Just rolling back in the socket, nice and slow and controlled. This is good. And we're looking for a sense of a little burn in the back of this hip area here, working into glute med and focusing into posterior glute med at the back of the hip. Good. I think that's about 10. And then a small rest. Again, bit of a rub into the back of the hip to help with circulation, fluid flushing, and then we're going to come into what's called a level two. So we're just going to float the feet up a little bit. So they're in line with my bottom here. And I'm going to go again for a count of 10, lifting and down. And you should notice that you can get a little bit more movement now happening. But once again, we're not forcing our range. This is probably, I will call that my mid range. To give you an example, I can go here but I'm not working that far. I'm just working in the earlier ranges of this motion because I don't want to be yanking into other muscles around my hip area. Just focusing at the back, which I can tell you I'm getting a really good burn there now. Good. Lovely guys. And coming down. So we're going to lengthen the legs out in front of us now and we're working on a double leg lift. So this is going to focus in the muscles at the top of the waist. So let's rest our hand here on the floor. Tummy connecting in, so maybe visualize those two hips drawing together. We're going to lift the legs here and holding. Two, three, four, five 
and down. Repeat. Two. Now, if you can, you can take your hand off. More of a balance challenge. And down. You're very welcome to keep them on the floor. We just want to feel the muscles in this upper waist shorten and join together. See there as you do this, if you can keep your head, neck and shoulders nicely relaxed. Good. All right. Now we're going to take our top band, hook the thumbs in into the web space, and we're going to do an overhead press. If you want to, you can just bend your underneath leg for more balance, or as I'm doing today, I'm just flexing my feet, and that's going to help me keep a little bit more stable. I'm going to bend the arm here, push and overhead, coming in. Two. See if you can lift your underneath waist as you do this. Keep your ribs connected in. Hands nice and relaxed. I should have said as well, you're very welcome to put a pillow underneath your head here. You don't have to rest on your arm. Try and stay balanced as long as you can. Good. And then we have 10. Coming down to rest. Legs again, this time up and down repeatedly. One, come down, hover, lift up two, come down, hover, lift up three, down, hover, four, working in that upper waist, that's where your focus is, good, squeeze, eight, I think, nine, ten, hold, overhead press, so the legs are off the floor, one, push, two, three, four, keep drawing your low abdominals together, six, seven, eight, nine, hold it there, ten, small circles with the arm, and this is also going to knock your balance off, don't worry if you can't do this version, and lowering back down, Poof. okay, I'm going to have a nice big showgirl leg kick and pop ourselves on to the other side where we're going to start again, clams level one and two, and then into side lying leg lifts. So set up, hips stacked, heels in line with your bum. And again, we have this sense of on the wall, rolling forwards off the wall. And we're going to start with our small clam lift, coming up. Leg rolling in the socket, just collecting the band, coming down again. Lifting up, collect the band, come down. Next one, coming up and down. Number five. See, I'm counting on my fingers here just to help. <laughs> Rotating, coming in. Exhaling as we lift, inhale, return. Keep a sense of imagery of magnets connecting these two front pelvic bones together well you may want to work with a visual of a slow the flow cue to activate the pelvic floor last one good and then we have a little rub again and then we're going to come into our next level so we're lifting the feet up so they're in line with the hips and this will give you a slightly bigger range, but more of a challenge. So if you want to go back and do the other level, you can. We don't have to move forwards. So leg rolling in the socket, nudging into the band, coming down again. Nudging, coming down. Take your hand back into the back of your hip and grab your butt cheek. You want your butt cheek to still be quite soft. And then if you move up a little bit to these outer muscles of the hip, they should be solid and working. So that's the difference between working your glute max and your glute med. Keep lifting, creating space in the underneath waist. Good. I think that's 10. And coming back down again. Let's lengthen the legs out. We're coming into our double leg lift. We had five second holds initially, rolling forwards or resting on the arm, 
nice relaxed shoulder. So we lift, we have five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, relax the upper waist, lengthen and lift. One, two, three, four, five. Lowering down, relax, lifting up again. One, two, three, four, five. Lowering down, connecting back up. One, two, three, four, five. Good, coming down. Grabbing your top band, remember you can bend the knee if you want to, or just flex the feet. Shoulder is back and connected and we're in our thumb webbing. Push one, coming in. Exhale two, three, four, good. So really work into that resistance. <laughs> Lovely. And number 10, good. Then we had a double leg lift and a lower. One, coming down, squeeze into the top of the waist. So shortening that space here. Four, legs glued together. Five, six, seven, eight. Two more, let's go. Nine, 10. And then we're gonna alternate, lift, down actually no i lie i'm lying to you let's keep the legs up and we'll come into our press see my creativity is just all over the place today that's it pushing 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 and then if you want to hold at the end and we're just drawing little circles with the band keep squeezing into your upper waist Good, come down. Whew. Good job, guys. We are going to come up now and into standing, and you're going to need your ankle straps. So, if you want to grab them and pop them on when you're sitting, you can. Just nice and loose around the ankle. And we'll have the silvery clips facing towards the front. I'm going to take my band out, pop it on here. and clip in and then we'll be good to transition up into standing okay so we're going to start off with some shoulder work and into a small offering motion so the arms are going to come forwards rotate out to the side and then come back in again from a bent arm so we're holding the band here or the, the straps here in the palm of our hand. I'm going to have my knees very slightly soft. Check in with your spinal stack again. Nice big inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Open out. Come back in. Return. Exhale. Open out. Come back in. This movement doesn't need to be big, but what I want you to focus on is wit. Ooh, wit, wit through the shoulders. Put my teeth in, there we go. When the arms rotate out to the side as well, see if you can keep your shoulder blades stable so that they're not coming together and we're not thrusting into the ribs. Exhale. Just notice how your deep tummy connects beautifully as you work here against the band. And again. Good. So we're going to come now into our first set of bicep curls and we're going to vary. So we're going to have forwards on the diagonal and out to the side. Knees soft again. Exhale, bicep curl. Coming down on the diagonal. Out to the side. And again, forwards. Two. On the diagonal. Out to the side. Forwards again. Three. Let's go. Last set, fourth set, takes us up to 12. 
Keeping the arms away from the body, nice big swooping motion. Brilliant, good job, okay. We're gonna come now into a squat. So folding into the hips, we're going to come, actually we'll come a little bit wider I think. We're gonna come into a squat pattern here. So pushing against the band so that our shins track nicely over the feet and then come up again. Squatting, come up. Remember your squat should have a nice long spine here and think wide into your sitting bones. So I don't want you to grip your butt cheeks, just let your muscles lengthen and then bring you back up again. Okay, now we're gonna go squat and bicep curl. So we have squat, come up curl, and two, come up, and three, four, five, Keep your weight backwards towards your heel side. Six, tummy connecting as we row. Seven, last one, eight. Beautiful. Now we're gonna make this a little bit more dynamic with an alternating side step. So we will have to the right. Squat, curl, wide squat, curl. Out we come. Again, nice wide step, hips travel backwards, keep your spine long, good, and when we're pulling up with our biceps, just keeping the arms away from the body, so I want to try and avoid this locked in view, like that, we all have a nice spacious sense of coming in and pulling forwards. Whew, good job. Okay, we're staying with shoulders and we're gonna have a side fly motion. So we're actually going to have one leg forward. So I've got my right leg forwards, holding this in my left hand. And I'm just gonna do a small fly motion to the side. Knees are bent again, small fly, come back in. Now I'm holding the handle so that my thumb can be uppermost like this. Try not to fly with your shoulder rotated in. We want the shoulder blade back and out the way and good activation here in the lats. So let's go, we'll just do a count of eight. <sighs> coming in, seven, coming in, six, Check-ins, ribs down, five. Make sure we're pulling down before we move. Three, two more, two, last one. Oh, my goodness. Your handles will move around on the straps easily. So you can, you can hold in this upright position. So offset, I've got my left forwards band in the right hand. Slight bend, I'm gonna support my pelvis this time. Exhale, one, coming in. Now my hand, I don't know if you can see, but it's in my peripheral vision. So it's slightly in front of me here. Please don't take it out to the side here. We want to position the scapula in a really good place to help with this shoulder work. So I've got my hands in my peripheral vision Last one coming up, my my, good work. Let's bring that into our second set. So again, we've got our foot in split stance. If you want to, we can add it with a little lunge. I'm gonna take my feet quite wide so I can work against the band again. So I'm gonna go lunge, fly, come up, Small lunge, fly. This is a bend into the front hip. Shoulder blades drawing down the body. Exhale. Again, thumb facing uppermost and hand very much in my peripheral vision. Working out against the band. 
Who knows who's counting for me? Let's call that 10. And we're gonna swap. So if you want to, little lunge, high fly, return, lunge. Coming up, three. Ribs connected down, four. Keep your weight in your front heel, five. We should feel the bum kicking in, six. Thigh working, seven. Keep pushing out against the leg band so that we don't see this. And last one. Good. Well done, guys. Give yourself a round of applause. Maybe take a moment just to feel inside your body. We'll do a couple of big breaths. So I'm just gonna get you to inhale, arms up. Full exhale. Once more. Full exhale. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you again on the mat.